She said that American soccer fans, most of them aren't smart. They don't know the game. They don't understand. Gio, Gio, Gio. That guy gets boxed. Before to take a lame gorilla, okay? Hey, Bryce, did you know that Arsenal? He died. He's got me buzzing. Up the top, he's, it's hard to up on them up them anyway. I, I'm just not even gonna comment on that. I think those two players, Weya and Reyna, are going to be absolutely key to anything the U.S. want to do in this one. Uh, but boys, like we said, they are going to have to face most likely a Brazil or Colombia in the next round. And I don't know who the hell it's going to be. We could win the group, and I still don't know what it's going to be. There is no saying who's going to win this group. It is Brazil. It is Colombia. It is Costa Rica and Paraguay. Paraguay is the worst team in Conobol at the moment. Costa Rica might be the worst team from CONCACAF in this tournament here. It is a, a battle for first, I think, just between Brazil and Colombia in this one, Nick. You are Colombian. You know the, the inner workings. And holy shit, those inner workings are looking like Midas has touched them and made them gold, touch them again, make them even golder. It is looking insane over there for Colombia. Maybe not so as gold for Brazil, but goddamn, they have some talent. What are you seeing from this one? Yeah, listen, I think, I, I think, I think we're going to win this group. I think we're going to go undefeated. I think, I think we're going to get at least seven points, and I think, I think we have a really good shot at nine. Something about this Brazil camp right now is just feeling super negative, and I understand that they have more overall talent than we do, uh, and I accept that. But I just don't. I don't see it from them right now. I haven't seen it from them in the Cotton Bowl qualifying. I didn't see it in the most recent friendly against the United States. And I've been seeing it left and right for Columbia for the past like year now, year and a half. So uh, they, they've been playing phenomenal football. I think we have, if we can avoid Uruguay, because Uruguay kind of has our number and that, that's just going to be a hell of a game. Uh, if we can avoid Uruguay, I, I like our chances of like having a real shot at this final. I think that the biggest thing for Colombia is going to be we are a little, our depth in midfield's a little shallow and not so much in that there's no talent, but that's a lot of unproven talent. Um, so I think that some of those young guys off the bench like Rios or, or even if you put in a Quintero, who I know isn't young, but he's not in the starting 11, the energy that they bring is going to be huge because Uribe and and uh, Lerma are going to run themselves onto the floor for about 70 minutes. And so if those guys can come on and, and be that same kind of energy and provide that same kind of grit and provide that same kind of cover that those two midfielders are going to while still getting forward, Lerma and Uribe run their ass off. And so if those guys are ready for the moment and are able to play well, I think we have a really, really good chance to get to the final. Obviously, we're we're uh, we playing a system where where it's all go all the time, and so there's going to be some tired legs towards the end of games. I think the bench is going to be huge. That being said, the man on the screen, Lucho Diaz, is is absolutely on fire. Was so saucy against Bolivia. Uh, he he is going to be the main man, and then you toss in guys like Hamas in there. You you toss in guys uh, like Darren Munoz, and and a lot of uh, Lusumi looks so good in at uh, at that left center back spot. Borja, I think, has a chance to, to play well. Borja has a chance to play well. So, uh, and and Duran has looked fantastic all season, even if not so much for the United or for the Colombian national team. So, I think there's a lot, a lot there that is to be liked. Um, Jon Arias scored in both friendlies. He, he two phenomenal finishes as well. So, th there's a lot there to be liked. I think we're playing the best team football of any team, perhaps in this tournament, right up there with anyone. I would argue, um, and, and we have the tech. Excuse me. We have the talent to get to a final. It's going to be on whether these young guys are ready or not. Yeah, and, and Colombia are coming in, like you said, just on fire. Everybody is almost playing lights out football at this moment. They're scoring goals for fun and certainly did that against the U.S., unfortunately. But, Mike, looking at Brazil, they are almost always a favorite, if not the favorite, in Copa America. This time it's it's a lot more doubted. One, like we said, this side of the bracket will have, if everything goes to how it, how it maybe should go, the U.S., Uruguay, Colombia, and Brazil all in the knockouts on this side of the bracket. That is going to be some type of uh, a knockout stage for Brazil to get through. But also, Ronaldinho is coming out saying he's 
not watching. That's it. And then he's saying, no, actually, that was for an advertisement for I don't even know what it was advertising. It was something really stupid and <laughs> saying that it was a makeup of what fans are saying. And he was just doing it for that. It's not actually whatever. It's been a whole bunch of drama out of the Brazilian camp. Dorval Jr., it was supposed to be Don Carlo Ancelotti leading Brazil. And then he gets chosen as just a, a veteran Brazilian manager. A lot of pressure has been put on him because he's not gotten that midfield to play right. He's not gotten the attack to play Brazilian Joga Bonita. He's not had them looking like Brazil. How much pressure is on him to not just get through this group, but win the group, win the knockout, at least get to a final in this one? All the pressure in the world. There's probably not a job in football that has more pressure than being the Brazilian national team manager. I mean, those dudes are under scrutiny all the time. They get fired instantly. If they don't have success. And Brazil's the nation. They expect to dominate, right? I mean, football is their sport. England wants to claim it, but it's Brazil's sport. Everybody knows this. Um, and aside from what, a 2019 Copa America victory, they haven't done anything in a long time. Um, this squad's really untested. Not a lot of vets in there. I mean, the first graphic we saw was Neymar, Richarlison, and Thiago Silva. None of them are involved in this camp. Um, they don't have necessarily the most special player at the moment. Vinicius is marked as that. Um, he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but he's not Neymar. He's not going to, to dominate a match, um, make everyone around him that much better. He's more of an individual player. Uh, I want to see maybe a more defensive game plan. like. Against the U.S., I didn't love the midfield they put out there. They got Douglas Luiz on the bench. Can we see Bruno Guimaraes and Douglas Luiz stacked up with a double pivot system? I don't know. I don't know enough about if they've played that before. That's what I would do um, to cover kind of an ex inexperienced back line. you got Beraldo, who's a really young player starting next to Marquinhos. It's an okay pairing, um, but it's untested. I'm sure Can they do that? Gabriel, no. I think you would start Gabriel Magalhaes, but he hasn't been starting in the friendlies, right? So yeah. maybe they'd change that up for the tournament. I don't have any indication that's going to happen. Um, and can they let those attacking three kind of do the work on their own with Paqueta at the 10? I wouldn't count them out. I think they will make some sort of run in the knockouts, um, maybe even get to a final. I don't know, I don't, dude. I don't see them winning. I don't think though. so. I don't think they get to a final. I think if they somehow, I think Uruguay stops them for sure, and I think Colombia can as well. I I don't see them making it to a final. The U the U S is also over there, Nick. Just if you wanna. All right. Yep. No. Good point. Good just point. If you, <laughs> just if you wanna like, just if you wanna add them to that list, but. Yeah. No. Sure. 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 <laughs> Endrick's got some magic, dude. Will the the aura of Endrick carry this team? He will be breaking the world of football on the 20th. So everybody keep an eye out for what Can't imagine what that's going to be, dude. He's going to say something really stupid. It's probably going to be some sponsor, Arsenal incoming. So. I, I would. That'd be something. Arsenal that would be incoming. certainly something. I'm declaring for the United <laughs> States of America. Yeah, he's. <laughs> I played on the last day. problem. <laughs> he's out there doing the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> This one for the troops. <laughs> the troops. Yeah, uh, we'll see what happens with Brazil, the U.S., Argentina, Mexico, all of the big names in Copa America here in the U.S. of A. Starting on the 20th here with Jesse Marsh's Canada against Lionel Messi's Argentina. The U.S. kicks off against Bolivia and Endrick will break the world of football on the 20th. 